Fitting in to new environments can be very difficult, especially when you're not surrounded by people who look like you. For two local Georgia students and a former educator, they have first-hand experience of what it's like trying to fit in predominantly white schools and have shared with me a part of that experience. This is Jeff Mitchell, former educator and CEO of FYG Management LLC, in which he works to assist and improve schools. In my phone call with him, he spoke about some of his techniques for helping students fit in and why some students may have it better off adjusting into the environment of predominantly white schools. There are some things that are unique to the black experience, um, and some things unique to the Hispanic experience, some things unique to the white experience. And when there's not enough people around, uh, especially those of authority figures that are around in those different places, um, people like, like myself, people like, that look like me, when we don't have those kind of supports around, it can be draining. After speaking with Mr. Mitchell, I talked to two Georgia students who face this adversity head on. Damon Fleming Jr., a 2021 graduate of Greater Atlanta Christian School, outlined his own experience. But despite holding leadership positions, he still faced ostracization from his peers and some administrators as well. When I got elected to be on the student council at the end of that year, there were so many people who, you know, it just seemed like things just changed for them. They didn't talk to me they didn't, anymore. They didn't look at me the same way because I guess for them it was who is this new kid who is taking, you know, our lifers positions? I think a lot of what people are trying to do is, or were trying to do was put me into a box of, here's this black kid who is coming to GAC. He's a football player. At the time, he was also a track runner. He's, you know, he's this athlete. And, you know, that's kind of the stereotype, um, at, especially at schools like that. You know, we, we've got this kid who's gonna come in and help us be better in this one category. But see, I grew up in a home uh, where my parents encouraged me that no matter what it was I was doing, I needed to be the, the, at the top of my game. Um, and that's academics, that's spiritually, that's in leadership roles. Um, and like, like I already said, that's athletics. So no one could really confine me into a box. I even was able to find similar responses from another student of Greater Atlanta Christian School. And she's even had to face this experience with some of her teachers. Coming from a very racially diverse school into a predominantly white school. Um, it was a bit of a culture shock. I was telling her about me being Colombian and how I was excited to go back home. And she was making ignorant comments towards Colombians. It's made it harder for me to identify with my culture just because um, in the two schools I was at before, in the first school I ever attended, which was also a private school, they never sell like there was never any celebrations like Hispanic Heritage Month or anything like that. After each conversation, it seemed that there was a common denominator, a lack of understanding. We have to take the time to understand our students. Understanding is more important, especially to the growth of those students if we're going to teach them than they're uh, than just correcting them. Jeremiah Mitchell, Student Reporting Labs.